Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me today. I am Jim Coppinger with Zentech Consultants, and I want to welcome you all to our webinar on Procore Action Plans, ensuring work is getting done the way that you want it to be. Um, before we get into today's presentation, just a couple of quick housekeeping items. Number one, because this is a uh, an open and a public forum, uh, all the students or attendees, rather, microphones and telephones uh, are going to stay muted throughout. Um, but you guys, you know, I have uh, allotted some time for uh, questions and answers at the end of the presentation. So if you guys want to type in your questions in either the question box or the chat box, either one works just fine. I have them both open on my second monitor here. All right. So just type in your questions as we go, and I'll be happy to answer them at the end of today's presentation. So with that, let's go ahead and get into what we're talking about here today. All right. So for starters, for those of you who don't know us and haven't worked with us before, we appreciate you guys being here today. We are Zentech Consultants, and we work primarily in the AEC space, uh, and we are nationally recognized uh, premier Procore partners. So we handle Procore estimated construction management. Uh, we also handle CAD design, Bluebeam. When it comes to technology in the AEC space, whatever it is you guys have working, there's a really good chance that we can help you out with everything from training to support and configuration and anything else you can think of. So we hope you hit our website, see what else we have to offer for you. All right, so what is it we're really talking about today, right? We're talking about the, the action plans set up inside of Procore. And it's a tool that I'm always surprised at how few people, uh, number one, actually even know that this tool exists inside of Procore and how many people, even if they do know it exists, just don't use it, right? And, and, and the whole function behind the action plan it's a concept of looking at the things that we have to verify are being done in the proper order at the proper time and that we're you know keeping accountability and records of things on our construction projects that have been addressed so in other words you know we we all have whether it be you know inspection processes or osha safety training or you know qaqc things or sign in processes or submittal processes we all have these workflows and we've got forms and we've got signature sheets and we've got to track all of this data all the time. And this can be anything from internal processes for your company to what subs or visitors on site are doing. It doesn't matter. The idea is that action plans inside of Procore give you the ability to set up standard workflows with approval points, right? So that people have to go in and on a job, they'll have to actually sign things and approve things to make sure that, yes, I've done this step, it's been done correctly, and they actually have to sign off on it so that you have a, a permanent record of everything that's happened. So that's what we're really talking about today, okay? So, you know, with that said, we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to get into a little bit of a, uh, a demo here, um, and hopefully this will all work, you know, just fine. I'm having some, some display issues, but hopefully, right, if you just, it takes me a minute here to kind of get my mouse onto my other screen here today. All right, but hopefully we'll be all set. And I'm just going to go ahead here and I'm going to jump over. Hit the wrong button. Give me one moment. I'll be right with you. There we go. That's where I was trying to get to. All right. And I'm just trying to get my mouse back onto this other monitor that I'm sharing with you guys, right? which again is just being problematic for me today. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. So one, one of my monitors went out. So I usually have four and I only have three working at the moment. Um, so the idea behind action plans is that they're available to anybody, right? They can easily be enabled as part of your, your base structure. And the idea is that at the corporate level, we can go in and we can build action plan templates, right? Templates that we can you know, put in place and then everybody can go in and you can choose to activate them on individual projects to make sure that your workflow processes are being followed. So I'm going to show you real quick. To build up a template, I'm just going to go into the general admin tool set. Okay, here on my at the corporate level. And over here on the side, you see I'm going to go in, I'm going to go to my action plans. All right. And here under the action plans, what we're building is a workflow process as a named template. So for example, right, I've got one here called site safety training, right? That I've already built. I'm going to build a new one for you in just a second, but I just want to kind of give you an overview here that you know you build up this template with a you know a process and a type, right? And you're you're putting in descriptions of what needs to be done. And then what you're doing is listing an entire set of steps that have to happen in whatever workflow process you need to keep track of, okay? So you're able to go in, for example, here we got our safety plan set up, right? We're gonna go in and we're gonna upload the plan to Procore, and then we have to make sure that the contractors, you know, fill in all the site safety plan information. And over here, the key is that we can go in and we can add all of the controls in terms of who has to approve it, who has to sign it, 
you know, the, the workflow process can't continue on until someone signed and approved it. Right? Those are the kind of things that, that we really want to be able to work with here, right? So that's the idea. So let's go back a level here, right? And I'm just going to go back to our templates. I'm going to show you guys how to set up a new template. It's really easy to do. What we're going to do is go in here. We're just going to click on the create template button, okay? And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to give our template a name, right? So for today, uh, let's go ahead and say we'll do a, uh, I'm going to turn my caps lock here. We'll do a uh, concrete um I don't know what do we call it and yeah, we'll call it our uh, concrete inspection process okay All right i can pick what type of process this is right oh look i'm working with concrete well that makes it pretty easy right but i can do anything right and these can be updated right you can create new types for safety quality metal work electrical environment whatever it is you need right uh the plan manager and the location you know again we're setting up a template that'll show up everywhere this is all going to go in and be, you know, uh, usable on uh, every single project, right? So I'm also going to go in here, and I actually have this typed over here, so I don't really have to, uh, you know, do this, right? So I'm going to go ahead and copy out some uh, some text and bring it in here, and I'm just going to give this a description right in here, right? I'm just going to click in there and paste in, right? Steps for a certified inspection prior to a concrete pour. This is what we're doing. This is the process. We want to make sure that every step is being followed and it's being signed off on and approved every step of the way. And I got all my basic, you know, formatting. I can make this bigger, smaller, italic, underlined. I can do any kind of formatting here. But I've got the two, you know, concepts that I need. I've got the name and I've got the type and I put in the description. Now I'm ready to go ahead and create and add my sections here. Okay. So you see that now that I've got that done, it's built this template for me. Right. And now I can go ahead and I can start putting in right, all the things that have to happen here. So I'm going to go into this area, you know, for section one, the first thing that has to happen, step one in this workflow process, I'm just going to go in and say, look, I'm going to, uh, you know, verify that, you know, the proper uh, installation of the forms. That's step one, right, in our inspection process. Okay, right, so you see we've got a, a 1.1, that's the overall, what are the steps that have to go into that? Well, you know, number one, we're going to have to, you know, the excavation, must be inspected, All right? So we can easily put that in, okay? And you see that now, right, we can go in and we can set what is the acceptance criteria. Uh, and we say, you know, must be, uh, we'll say must be signed by sub and the, you know, general contractor, okay? To prove that that's already been done and set, that that's, you know, the excavation has been inspected, okay? And I can go in here and you see I've got buttons for adding references, assignees, and records. So if they're external files that I want to click here, I can just drag and drop them into here, right? But more importantly, I can go here to the edit assignees button. And here's where I can go and I can start, you know, adding the people who have to approve this process in order to move it forward. And the great thing is, is that the people who sign off on this, who approve these steps, Procore is going to lock that in and keep track of it. It provides accountability for every step of whatever process you guys are putting in place. All right, so you see I can go in, I'm, I'm gonna say, hey, assignee, uh, you know, signatures are required before they can go to the next section. So I can do it at each section or I can just do the overall plan, all right? Or I can even just put in a list and say, look, I don't really need sign off on this. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it for the rest of the section. I'm gonna start selecting assignees. So who's got us sign off? Well, I said the subcontractor, okay? And what does he have to do, all right? Does he just have to witness it? Does he have to perform a test? Does he just have to look at it, right? Or is this a hold point for approval? So I'm going to say, look, all we need to do right, is that he has to witness this and, and look at it and say, yep, it's all good. And that's a required step. But then I'm going to add the contractor, right, the GC. This is a hold point. This, we can't go on to the next step until the general contractor signs off on this and says it's okay. And I can just continue adding more and more assignees to meet whatever workflow criteria and approval process you have, right? And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save. Right? And there you go, you see I've got my, my first step in there and I'll just show you, you can just go in now and I can add entirely new sections if I need to, right? Whatever I have going on here, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple today and I'll just add one more item, right? Just to show you, it's a pretty straightforward process. So uh, 1.2, 1, 1 right? Our forms uh, must meet specifications. Okay, we have to check and verify that, all right? And what's the acceptance cri criteria here? Uh, you know, needs to be, you know, uh, verified by the contractor, okay? There's only one person who needs to do that. And again, I can just go back in. I can edit assignees. 
I'm going to assign just one person here, right, to, to move on, right? And I will go ahead and set the contractor again. And again, this is a whole point. He has to approve that before we can go on. And I can save that. Now, the other thing that I can do here, you see that we've also got these add records buttons. And this is great because when I click on add records, you see that it goes in and it lets me attach items that already exist within Procore, right? I can go and drag out photos. So if I got photos on here, right, I can put those in attachments, right? I can select people to, you know, request attachments, or I can go into, you know, previous inspections, right? So if I want to go in here and say, okay, you know what, I need an inspection and we should have a, uh, there we go, a, a concrete peak, that pre, <laughs> pre pour, try that in English, inspection, right? And I'm just going to attach that inspection in here. Right? And then all I have to do once I've got this, now I would just continue on adding more sections, more steps. You're basically just creating a, an outline, right? And you may already have that in the form of a Word document for a lot of the things that you're doing today, right? Where you can just go in and easily build those and set those up. And then when you're done, all you have to do is publish it, okay? And there you go. You see that that template has now been published. Now that's an overall template. Now what that means is that on your individual projects, your project managers or your supers, I right, can go in and I'm just going to go in and I've got a little uh, example training project here that I, I'll work with. Right? They can go in on their project and at the project level now, they can just go in right, and go right to the action plans for that particular job. Okay? And you see it shows you a list of the, you know, the, the action plans that are already here right? and that are you know, underway or if they've been finished or filled out. But the idea is that now I can just go up here to create. Okay? And there's my concrete inspection process. Okay. And I can just go ahead and pull that up and say, okay, now on this particular project, we're going to go through our concrete inspection process. And you see that most everything's already filled out here. Right? I can go in, I can pick my location. Right? I can set right, the status. I can set you know, who is the approvers, right? who is the plan manager. Right? I can go down and say, hey, you know, Jim's the, the, you know, the plan manager. Uh, Joe, somebody's, or you know, we'll say John is the approver. I right? see so I can set multiple people. Right? And you know the completed plan has to go to Joe somebody and Jim both. Okay, so you see I can go ahead and select you know people who are part of my project directory. All right, and then down here it's about going in and completing the steps. Step one. All right, we inspected this. This is done. Okay, when did you do it? Oh, I did that today. Okay, all right. Here are the assignees. I can edit the assignees. All right, or you know I can go ahead and say okay this is done. All right, this one is still pending. Right? But I can go ahead and I can publish this. Right? I set the basic process. Now that it's been published, you see the one that I've set a date on? You see that now the contractor can go in and say, okay. Right? Here's the contractor, is Joe somebody. And you see he can now go ahead and he can actually sign this. It's got a built-in signing tool. So he can just go in and say, you know, this is Joe S. Signed. We now have an actual signature saying that Joe did this. He's verified that that's been done, okay? And now it can't move forward, it can't be marked as completed and you can't go to the next step yet because, oh, I did that backwards, sorry. Um, <laughs> the subcontractor needs a sign. So I guess in this case, I'll be the subcontractor, right? So I can go in and I can you know, put in my initials there, okay, and sign that. There we go, now it's done. Now I can move on right, to the next structure here, right? And say, okay, when is this done, all right? That gets done on the 14th. Right. And then you see once that set state, I can go ahead and as the contractor say, you know, that was done and sign off on it. Right. And now I have a completed plan. Right? And when you go back to your action plans, you have a permanent record that every single step along the way was verified and done and completed. And you're all good to go. Right. That's the concept. It's a very, very simple idea. Right. But you can go in and you can build as many different types of action plans that that you can conceive of. All right, and follow the processes, like I said, for anything, right? Uh, so, you know, site sign-ins, OSHA safety training, site visit training, right? You know, PPE training, right? Anything that you can think of, whether it's site-related or internal, right? Maybe it's a review or a draw submittal or an invoicing submittal process that you want to give to your subcontractor. Say, look, follow these five steps if you want to get paid. And when he signs off each one saying, I did those things. And you're like, okay, I've got the records of it. Now you can get your money. Okay, that's what action plans will do for you. They're really, really impressive in that respect. Okay, all right. So with that, all right, it is about time here to go for some Q&A, all right? And again, if you guys have any other questions, just type them in here. Uh, looks like I got two questions already. 
Uh, so the first one is from uh, Kai John. Hopefully I didn't mispronounce that. Um, are there a limit on the number of templates we can have? Uh, no, no, there's not. All right, you can actually create as many templates uh, for your action plans as you want. Right. One of the things to keep in mind, I, I always stress to uh, our users with Procore, part of your Procore server, you have unlimited storage. So if you want to put 10,000 different workflow processes into your templates and at the company level for people to choose from and use, Go right ahead. It's not not going to be a problem. Not going to cost you anything, or you're not going to run into any issues with Procore for that. Um, and my other question here I have is from Andre: um, Can I create multiple plans on one job from the same template? Say for OSHA training for trades. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's kind of the the whole concept here, right? You can create as many um, action plans on every job as you need from the same template, right? So that you know every contractor has you know has to sign off or, or go through this process, right? Everybody who visits the site has to go through this process. You may have 30 or 40 plans that are completed and done, all built off of the same exact template, right? And it's all being handled, controlled, kept inside of Procore. You can email those reports, print those out for record, right? Whatever it is that you guys need to do. Okay. Um, I don't see any other questions coming in. So I'm going to assume you guys are all good. All right. So with that, I'm going to let you guys get back to your day. Uh, just remind you that we are Zentech Consultants and we are, uh, you know, nationally recognized Procore certified consultants. All right. We're here to help you guys with all your construction estimating cost related needs. And we also do quite a lot of work in setting up and configuring Procore for your needs. Um, and if you guys have any questions, concerns, if you want to talk to us about, you know, helping you get these action plans set up or anything else in Procore, just reach out to our contact information there on screen. Other than that, Thank you guys for your time today. Have a great day, everybody.